Well, boys, we are going to be going over the new Endgame packs in NBA 2K23. My team, I guess they're just calling it Endgame Luka Doncic for, for whoever the headliner is. A little bit weird there, but yeah, these packs, I guess, are called Endgame Luka Doncic. That's the pack name, I guess. So there's going to be three new Dark Matters coming in Season 8. Dark uh, Endgame D-Rob, Endgame Luka Doncic, and Endgame Paul George. I mean, that is kind of crazy to get three different Endgame cards in one single drop. And then we also got four Invincibles. We got Anthony Edwards, who can play point guard. We got D-Book, who I actually guessed right. We got DeMarcus Cousins, and we also do have Danny Granger. Those are going to be the four Invincibles. And then it looks like we only got three Dark Matters in the actual set. Does that say something? I can't even read what that says. Like, I'm trying to read what the, um, you know, I'm trying to read what Darius Garland says. I don't think there's a way to zoom in. But yeah, so it says, so we got Darius Garland, Larry Johnson, and Antoine Jameson. A little bit weird how Antoine could only play small, uh, power forward, small forward. Was kind of hoping he could play the shooting guard position, but I'll be going over all these cards, what I do think about them. But yeah, let's start off with the end games. We got Luka Doncic, D Rob, and Paul George. So we'll start off with the headlining one going to be Luka Doncic. Now, he's already got a really good dark matter in game. I mean, this card is already still a top tier point guard. So now, so the things I can expect on his end game is obviously the 99 stat, you know, every single Hall of Fame badge. But the big thing going into tomorrow's drop, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with the animations because something I hope 2K doesn't do, like I would be so mad if they just give all of these end game cards the exact same dribble sigs because Paula Bancaro and Kevin Durant have the exact same jump shot, exact same dribble sigs. So I'm really, really hoping it, hoping they don't do that for Luka Doncic, D-Rob, and Paul George, because I don't want to have Luka Doncic with this jump shot, D-Rob with this jump shot, every single card having the same release. There's other great jump shots out there. There's other good bases, other good uppers, right? That could be put on Luka Doncic. Like, Luka on his endgame version, he doesn't need a new jump shot. Just maybe give him, like, the Steve Francis size up or the D-Rose size up over the tray, right and then give him some better dunk packages you know max out his defensive tendencies but i just hope they don't give him the city bay upper even though yes it might make the jump shot a little bit better i just hope they don't make every single end game the exact same card but i don't see luca becoming that much better of a point guard because he's already so good has an elite level jump shot best fade pretty much best dribble sigs in the game so i'm not expecting too much of a difference between this luca Doncic and the end game version unless they do something crazy. I mean, obviously the end game is going to be better. I just don't think by like a crazy margin. Now to talk about end game D-Rob, a card that I did predict. I actually, no, I didn't predict. I, I predicted D-Rob as an invincible card. I predicted Luka as an end game. But yeah, D-Rob, you know, gonna be a seven foot one power forward, seven foot five wingspan. And this is where the big upgrades can be made because when you look at his animations, they're going to give him a new jump shot. This is where I would love to see the KCP base, the O'Shea base, the Kyle Kuzma base with maybe the Oscar upper, Sadiq Bay upper, you know, just a different jump shot, right? All of the best uppers in the game. I just hope it's not the same KPJ base, Sadiq Bay upper on very quick timing, Steve Francis size up and tray escape. Like for him, he's got the Garland size up. I think that's good enough. Just give him the tray escape or the curry escape and we're good to go, right? Give him those better dunk packages, max out his defensive tendencies. And yeah, just give him a good jump shot, right? Give him the maybe O'Shea base and Rudy Gay upper, Oscar Robertson upper, right? Something like that. Give him a good jump shot, make him a top tier card. I just really hope they don't make them the exact same. And then the final end game to talk about is going to be Paul George. Now, I think PG could be really good, could be one of the best shooting guards, you know, behind Kevin Durant, T Mac. You know, there's some good shooting guards in the game, but he's going to be six foot nine, six foot 11 wingspan, has a great player modeling game. And yeah, Paul George, once again, just like D Rob, can definitely use an upgrade. He needs a new jump shot. He's going to get a new jump shot. He needs different dribble sigs. He needs better dunk packages, better defensive tendencies. Like when it comes to the animations, this card really needs a whole retool. You know, give him a new jump shot. Give him those good dribble sigs. Give him the good motion style. Give him the good dunk packages because we want Paul George to be top tier. And that's what my team is going to go ahead and do. I hope the, you know, end games, like here's what I'm trying to say. End games should be the best cards in my team. I'm fully agreeing with that. But there's like what I'm saying is, for Luka Doncic, he doesn't need his jump shot changed. Don't give him the Sadiq Bay upper. Just keep the Rudy Gay upper he has currently, right? Or is it the Rudy Gay upper on Luka, on Luka Doncic? I know it's the KPJ base and it's the Rudy Gay upper, right? So keep his jump shot the same and then maybe give him the Derrick Rose size up, right? Just mix it up. Don't give him the exact same dribble sigs to every single card, right? Maybe Paul George, give him the Curry escape and give him the Steve Francis size up. On D-Rob, give him the Garland size up and the Trey escape. 
right? Just make it different on cards, right? Don't make every single card the exact same. Maybe give Paul George the KCP base, Oscar Robertson upper, and then give D-Rob the O'Shea base and the Rudy Gay upper. I don't know, right? Just something different, right? That's what I'm hoping for with the end games. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the end games? Do you guys think they'll be top tier cards at their position? Are you guys hyped for any of them? And let me know, do you guys think they're going to keep them all with the same jump shot, same dribble sigs? Or do you guys think they're going to switch it up? Hopefully they do so in my opinion. But now to quickly talk about these, uh, and now to quickly talk about these invincibles and the normal dark matters. So Devin Booker, I did actually predict, you know, coming out today, I just had a feeling, you know, he's the cover athlete of 2K23. I had a feeling he needed an invincible sometime soon. And I think he could be a good point guard. He's already got like maxed out badges. And same thing for Devin Booker, right? He's already got the tray escape. Just give him maybe the Garland size up or give him the D-Rose size up or give him the C. Francis size up, right? Just give him something else. Don't just give him the C. Francis size up, the tray escape, right? Mix it up a little bit. Give him a different jump shot. He's already got the Curry base. Okay, cool. Keep the Curry base and give him Oscar upper. Give him Rudy Gay upper. Give him Kuzma upper. And I'm probably missing so many uppers in the game that are really good. Give somebody the Montrose Herald base. John Wall upper jump shot, something like that. There's so many good releases out there that can make these cards actually feel unique. But yeah, Devin Booker, I think he'll be a pretty solid point guard. We also got Anthony Edwards. Um, he hasn't got a card in a while, I don't believe. Um, Anthony Edwards, yeah, he got the playoff card, I guess. And then he also did have that domination one. But yeah, he had this one that got Evo to a dark matter. Once again, for Anthony Edwards, he can use, you know, even his dribble six are fine. I'm fine with the Kyle Lowry size up in the tray escape. Just give him a new jump shot, right? Max out his tendencies. That's what I'm hoping to see. Well, I guess these are invincible cards, right? But I'm just hoping to see different jump shots on different cards. But yeah, for invincibles, they might just keep Devin Booker's jump shot the same. And they might also just give uh, Anthony Edwards. They might change Anthony Edwards' jump shot and probably just change his dribble sigs. Demarcus Cousins is going to be an undersized power forward. I think he could be cool, though. I mean, I like boogie cards in my team. I think they always play pretty solid. So I could see boogie being decent. You know, he's got a good wingspan, good player model. And then we also got Danny Granger, who can play the shooting guard position. That card could be pretty interesting. Like six foot nine at shooting guard, seven foot one wingspan. He's just going to need a completely different jump shot because I remember on this card, his release was terrible. And then for the other dark matters, we got Larry Johnson, small forward, power forward, Darius Garland, who could be a fun point guard. And then also Antoine Jameson. I want to quickly check the tweet and, uh, and just see what people are saying on Twitter real quick. Um, weird that they're only giving us 10 players. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I agree with DBG. Like, I'm kind of confused. Um, I just want to see people's opinions. If you know, you know. Yeah, I know, I know Jazz does Larry Johnson. And does love Jerry. Uh, does love Jerry. Can I speak? Does love Larry Johnson. Best point guard in the game. Danny Granger, goat is back. Okay, so people seem to be... Yeah, I, I guess people seem to be, you know, I guess like in the packs a little bit. I think they're solid. I want to quickly check the comments of the actual tweets. See what people are saying. Anything interesting um where are the rest of the cards though yeah a little bit weird that the cards are you know lower i will say i like there's not as many cards that's a little bit disappointing but i don't know i think it's a cool set you guys can let me know your guys thoughts and opinions on the i guess endgame luka Doncic packs but yeah let me know your guys thoughts and opinions what do you guys think about this pack drop and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace